Hey guys, we're back at the docks. Um, to move more containers. Woohoo! Um, yeah. So, yeah. We're gonna move more containers. We're gonna move them on a cargo boat and with a crane. So, we're gonna have a cargo boat and a crane today. So let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, I upgraded my truck. It now has, um, from the last episode, it has a, uh, a trailer now that is honestly probably one of the best like trailer hitch things that I've probably seen in this game I don't know I haven't looked at a bunch but okay just let me show you so it's on a servo with zero strength um, but it's also on a hinge on zero strength so it can so it can um bend both down and sideways and up yeah so it just bends it's really great um how that works yeah so like if i go down this hill it'll bend upward it's also only rear wheel drive um, just like a normal I mean a usual truck so it does you know have all the functions so let me show you the hitch by itself so this piston is uh, these settings and this piston has the same settings so it goes right in the middle for an odd width um, creation actually for a completely center odd width so it rotates directly in the center which is uh, Scrapman did it a long time ago so I just copied what he did um, but he was doing that for like a wheel so it's a little bit different Oh, why did I have extra strength? I think it was... Oh, this version has it stronger so it doesn't comp rotate at all times. Um, but well, the one on the trailer is zero. So then I just have a hinge and it connects to the top. It's got zero strength. Um, so it just bends. I'll put a shield here so it connects onto the shield from the bottom. You can see it down there. Um, from here straight to here. And that just gives it just enough space to turn, but not too much. So instead of the flatbed, I went with this. Oh my goodness, the lag. Um, because it looked kind of weird for the flatbed to be so huge when really those are giant containers so we are going to load this guy up and it being real drive it does you know act a little weird sometimes because this game doesn't like real rear wheel drive uh, vehicles very much um, honestly I probably should put some braces on the sides like little catchers to like clamp it in but I just I just didn't get to that um I forgot to do that so we're just gonna pop out this thing right here this little device big device really it's a huge ginormous device would not be used for this kind of things 
I figured out if you press A and D at the same time because they turn and make the engines go. If you hold them at the same time and W, it uh, just basically gives it a speed boost. So, yeah. And then we press Z to raise it up. Can't really turn while we're going backward. Oh, sorry. Can't really turn while we're going backward, but you know, it's fine. Come on. Okay. It's trying to run away from me, so I gotta catch it. And then we just press Z. Lower it down. Oh, no. Did I work? Uh, sort of. We're just gonna get in the front. Driver's side. I'm American, so gotta get in this side. Because if we get in the other side, it won't work. I don't know why it drifts. Like, it just like floats in a direction. Oh, okay. Playing Euro Truck. Well, not Euro Truck, but like American Truck Simulator, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. It could definitely fall off right now. So, I don't want it to do that. Um, obviously, in real life, it would be, like, bolted on, you know, uh, but can't really do that, right, in this game. So, right now, I think the magnets are, uh, maybe, I think all the magnets are being affected, but, you know, it's fine. Okay, cool. Let's park this here. Get out, get in here. Press Z. Oh, uh, we're stuck. We are definitely stuck. Oh, no, we're not stuck. We're good. Now, as I said, can't turn while we're going backward. So, we're just going to put this over here next to this. Now, I am going to delete this creation so that, you know, I make sure that my frames are running smooth. Because I'm going to spawn in another large creation. Uh, the, the ferry. So, well not the ferry, but the cargo ship. Got to put it in the water, obviously. Oh, yep. Knew there was going to be some lag. Now, we can hold four containers on here. I don't think I'm going to put four containers. Uh... Well, maybe I might. Uh, no, it, it it's too hard. I put thrusters in here so that we can strafe sideways. Um, so that we can get right next to the shore. Oh, a little bit too fast. Whatever. Okay. Okay. No damage. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'm now in the right spot. I want to go away from that just in case it wants to be weird and spawn. No, I mean, like, put that into build mode instead of getting this. This is my little crane. It can drive a little bit. It's got a rock engine. I know it looks like it's going to fall over when I pick up the thing. It, it's 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 not it won't fall over it's good um it can't get over the bump though apparently um and it's gonna do that that's great fantastic okay okay we're good now we can pick this up we can scoot the crane over grab it okay that not not the best place to grab it but definitely a place to grab it Oh, I forgot I was driving. Okay, 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 okay. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, bring this up. Oh, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Don't mess it up. Let's get in this now. I think that's four. No, that's three. That's two. That's one. Yeah, that's three. Okay. Cool, now it's attached. And we are going way too fast for a... Um, at least for picking up speed. Holy cow. Cool, and we can just, you know, 
go out here maybe uh, put on intense waves because I can okay okay wow that those are very intense waves <laughs> obviously <laughs> it's not funny and there's not really like another place that we can drop this off go around and I don't know maybe there's another place I'm not really what is that you know one of these days I should just literally drive on these like random oh no oh no oh, okay tiny tap okay it's good you know what I'm gonna have a f free free floating not tied down I'm just gonna not have it tied down so yeah like I said you just ride around with the you know oh my goodness that's should be heavier and maybe it's empty oh no oh no oh no no oh! great trailmakers physics that is fantastic it just fell <laughs> it just oh man it just hopped it just straight up hopped off the boat it was like bail peace out my goodness okay well that that's that's really funny so yeah um i think that's about it um for my you know moving company stuff you know this thing's really slow turning but eh, that's kind of realistic it it's a lot slower at turning than it is at uh speeding up it's more realistic in the turning than the uh speed so you know I, I, I don't care whatever yeah so i think the most the thing i wanted to show the most was uh the the trailer hinge because i'm pretty proud of that yeah so my truck my little truck you know i think it's i think i think it's pretty good it floats that's for sure it floats um because the pontoons are extremely powerful but it you know just com constantly does this because there's no way in the back um yeah but the trailer uh, uh, like all of this all floats for some weird reason i don't know why oh no it doesn't float anymore because the uh weight in the back is too much yeah well i guess that's about it that that's all i wanted to show today I don't know. Comment down below y'all wanna see next. Uh subscribe if uh if you think I earned it. And this has been Groot and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.